Okay, in this video we're going to look at the following differential equation. So y double prime plus 4y equals minus 28 times sine of 2x. So, since this is a non-homogeneous second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients, we know that it's important to find a homogeneous or a solution of the corresponding homogeneous differential equation and a particular solution. So let's first look at the corresponding homogeneous differential equation, which is given by y double prime plus 4y equals 0. So in order to solve this, we need to look at its related polynomial, which is u squared plus 4 equals 0, which has roots equal to plus minus 2i. And then by the theory of these uh, homogeneous differential equations, that gives us a homogeneous solution to this of c1 cosine of 2x plus c2 sine of 2x, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Good. So this is the homogeneous part to this differential equation. Now we'll take a break from that and look at the particular solution. So using the method of undetermined coefficients, we see that a good first guess for a solution to this differential equation would be as follows. So we have the particular solution should maybe be of the form a times cosine of 2x plus b times sine of 2x, where a and b are coefficients to be determined. But there's a problem with this, and the problem is that this is already one of the homogeneous solutions. So this is a solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation. So that means when we plug this into the differential equation, we, it's impossible to get negative 28 sine 2x. Um, what we'll get is zero. Good. So using Euler's trick, uh, we could say that a good second guess would be to take this function to, and multiply it by x. So in this case, we get yp equals a times x cosine of 2x plus b times x sine of 2x. Good. Now, we want to plug this into the differential equation, and then we'll have uh, a way to determine a and b. So let's see what we get doing that. So we need yp prime. We don't strictly need it for this differential equation, but we'll need it in order to calculate yp double prime. So let's see, yp prime is, so we've got to use the product rule here. So we have a times cosine of 2x. So that's taking the derivative of x. And then we have minus 2a times 2ax times sine of 2x. Good. And so that'll be from taking the derivative of cosine 2x. So now let's notice that this branches into those two parts. So the derivative of cosine is minus sine. Good. And then we'll do the same thing here. So we'll get this is plus b sine 2x and then plus 2b cosine 2x. Okay, fantastic. So now notice here we had this thing branch into these two parts again. Good. Now we'll take the second derivative, so yp double prime. So I'll maybe need a little bit more room here. So the derivative of this with respect to x will be negative 2a sine 2x. Good. And then the derivative of this, so this will branch into two terms. So we'll have negative 2a sine 2x. Good. And then we'll also have um, minus 4ax cosine 2x. So again, this thing branched into two terms as follows. Good, and now what we can do is do the same thing over here. So here we'll have, this is plus 2b 
cosine 2x, good. Oh, and then I left off on x here, good. So 2bx, good. And then here we have, this is plus 2b cosine 2x, and then minus 4bx sine 2x. So we have the following. So now what we want to do is take yp prime plus yp double prime. So let's see what we, sorry, plus 4yp. So let's do that. yp double prime plus 4yp. And now let's notice some things will cancel. So notice here that we get the following. So these two terms add together, so we'll get minus 4 times a of sine 2x, good. And then we'll also get over here plus 4b cosine 2x, okay, fantastic. And now let's look at the rest of it. So we have this term right here which is 4ax cosine 2x, and now notice we're going to add that to 4 times this. Sorry, 4 times this up here, and now notice that will cancel. So this term and this term will cancel each other once multiplied by 4, and similarly, this term and this term will cancel. So that means when all is said and done, we have yp double prime plus 4yp prime is the following. But now we want that to be equal to negative 28 sine 2x. And now equating, e equating coefficients on both sides of the equations, we see that a needs to be equal to 7. Good, and then we see that B needs to be equal to zero. <clears throat> okay, uh, fantastic, so now we're almost home free. That means we have our particular solution. We have A is equal to seven, B is equal to zero. Now we can put that together with our homogeneous solution and then we'll have the most general solution. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll do that. Okay, so before we determined that the solution to the homogeneous differential equation, the corresponding homogeneous differential equation was given by this. So C1 cosine 2x plus C2 sine 2x. And we found out that a particular solution is given by 7x cosine 2x. So that tells us that the most general solution is given by the sum of these two. So we can write this as y equals 7x cosine 2x plus c1 cosine 2x plus c2 sine 2x, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary real numbers.